Daisy in a Box, for those of you that are outside of the Bigfoot loop, was reported to be part of a Quantra team that no one has ever heard about from a guy that claimed he was the ex-secret member of this non-existent group that no one, nobody knew about that had somehow secretly constructed this massive clamshell trap. And for those of you who don't know, clamshell traps are just like this. They just, they're like a clamshell. We usually use them to catch beavers. And apparently they've also used them to catch like bobcats. But to catch a critter that's bipedal that might be 10 foot tall and weigh a thousand pounds, you'd need a clamshell trap at least 20 feet wide and probably seven or eight feet width length. You're talking about a huge footprint, a lot of material, a lot of infrastructure, very difficult. You'd have to dismantle this thing, pack it into the woods, set it up someplace. Where are the pictures of this device? Where are the engineers that constructed it? Hell man, where are the pictures? Where's one single bloody photo of Daisy? Now we're being told that there's a three hour documentary, not a one hour documentary like Roe does or two hour document. No, three! Three hours of Daisy in a Box. Why do we enable these hoaxers? You know, Guy Edwards outlined the five stages of a hoax. He did it a long time ago for all of us and it starts off with an outlandish claim. The secret member, ex-member of the Qantas group, a team no one's heard about. We can't even determine if it's, if it's a real team. No one knows who's on the team. And the secret ex-member intercepted, coded message. The code was daisies in a box. We don't even have a schematic. We don't even have a diagram of the stupid trap. And we're led to believe that the secret team that no one's ever heard of, nobody knows anything about, not only did they construct this ginormous clamshell trap without anybody knowing about it, they also managed secret labs scattered throughout the country. This is right up there with Knight Rider, six million dollar man. Who has this type of infrastructure? Are they working with government agencies? Who has labs? Who has, what team has multiple labs scattered around the country? You know, capable of containing and caring for a Sasquatch. So we are to believe that somebody, the Oompa Loompas, have a Sasquatch that they've captured without anybody knowing about it, got it out of the trap without anybody getting killed, put it in a U-Haul truck, transported it to the secret facility hosted by unnamed vets and scientists who are doing undisclosed experiments on the creature right now, right as we're, as we're talking. And they're also working on a three hour documentary. We have no photos, no videos of Daisy. We have no paper. From Ketchum, I don't think it's a stretch to say that a legitimate lab in Malaysia would have had these things cloned by now. The second thing that the hoaxers do is attack their critics. They'll make an outlandish claim and then people say, well, hey, how about some photos? No! No, you're not getting any photos. How dare you think that you're entitled to demand information from us? You have no right. See, that's the second one. They get defensive towards their critics. The third one is then they delay weeks instead of months. It's been five years for Ketchum. I, I, I'm reminded of that movie where the guy stuck his head out the window and said, I'm not going to take it anymore. Damn it. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. I would love to ignore these stories, but so many people jump. Maybe, maybe it's true. Oh, please. I'm praying to the Bigfoot gods. Let this, just this one time, I keep getting taken in suckered in by these stories and they're all pretty much the same. It's some outland. They have it. We've got it. We've got Bigfoot. We've captured Bigfoot. We've shot Bigfoot, ran over it, was burned up in a fire, fell off a cliff. We dug it out of a cave, you know, something like that. And, but we have it. Delay information, delay information again, and then claim you were hoaxed. I mean, they all follow, they all follow that pattern. Well, if you're like me, if you're mad as hell and you're not going to take it anymore, just type down below, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. That would be cool. I'd like to see like a thousand of those below this video. Because every time one of these nitwits perpetrate a hoax, it just wastes a lot of time and energy from people having to look at it and analyze it. And not only that, but every time they perpetrate a hoax, it undermines the real data that we've been collecting. So if you're collecting data on a critter that you don't know very much about and you're trying to figure out its behavior and its population and its behavior dynamics and the environment it lives in and you have to constantly weed out, try to figure out what's 
fake information, fake bad data, and remove it. It's a lot of extra work. Mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. This has been a Taser Minute.